we're back. Guys, I have been deer hunting like an absolute maniac. I'm not kidding you guys. I've probably sat more days in the stand this season than maybe even my whole hunting career. That might be a little bit over exaggerated, but I've been in the stand way too much. With that being said, the quest for me shooting a buck has come to a halt. So I had a buddy fly in from Texas. This right here is my buddy Tyler. He currently lives in Austin, Texas, and he's never shot a whitetail. He's originally from Ohio, so he's hunted in the past, but he has yet to shoot his first deer. So over the past two weeks, me and Tyler have gone on a hiatus trying to get his first deer. Now, Tyler's family just so happens to have a little bit of property down the road from my new house, and it needs some doe management bad. I'm talking there are does like crazy. They hardly get bucks in there. These does are so overpopulated. Some of them, they just, they gotta hit the freezer. So me and Tyler have actually spent the last week and a half trying to get a deer at this property. We've been hunting out of blinds. We've been hunting out of stands. And based on the options that we have for stands and blinds and stuff like that, it's just not working out. The deer are busting us, they're winding us. We have not been able to get the deer in front of us to give Tyler a reasonable shot. So last night, after a few bush lights and a couple games of ping pong, I looked at a box in the corner and I saw a bunch of never used blinds for ladder stands. And I said, Tyler, I got an idea. What was the idea? I said, we're gonna make ghillie soup ponchos out of these blinds and we're gonna go lay in the south end of that field and we're gonna let an arrow fly at 35 yards and you're gonna smoke one tomorrow. Oh, look at that. That's Tyler right now. What do you know? He's on his way here. We stayed up all night, literally making ghillie suits out of old deer blinds. And uh, hopefully we get it done tonight. So it's looking good. I will see you guys at the property here in a minute. Stay tuned. You look pretty good. Trick or treat. Hey, lay down on the leaves for me real quick. Bro, it looks really good, dude. It looks really good, dude. We can't say if it's brown, it's down, because we're brown today. Yeah, don't shoot me. All right, guys, here, here we are in our homemade ghillie suits. We put a bunch of brush right here. The deer typically come from this wood line or this field over here. I'm going to lay low. Tyler's going to shoot first. I do. I think this is as good as it's going to get, unless the deer randomly come from behind us, but the likelihood of that happening are slim. For making these in the basement last night, look at the colors are perfect. All right, guys, we gotta quiet down. Hopefully, we can make this happen. Wait, you hit all the gut, bro. I know, as soon as I hit, I saw blood coming out. I don't know, we gotta watch the footage. Yeah. It sounded like gut. Yeah, it did. It was good height, you were just far back. I was worried about, they kept popping their head out when I popped back. 
Yeah, you took your time to. You it's your first year. Yeah. It's your first year. It's okay. It's okay. I'm notorious for gut shots on my channel, but hey, good job. We're in ghillie suits. Yeah. That deer is dead. Let's hope. Let's hope no, it's 100% yeah. dead. It's 100% dead. I'm proud of you, dude. Good job. It was only a 30 yard shot, but we got we to gotta find that arrow. I mean, that deer is dead, dude. It's dead, but that arrow definitely passed through, though. 100%. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's pure guts. Yeah. Yeah. Smell it. That's 100% a gut shot, bro. That's not good. No, it's not good. Yikes. Oh, the neighbor might have just shot it, too. I don't know, buddy. It's low. That's a very low shot. Why? Why my channel does this happen all the time? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a funny scenario. No. I get a ton of hate for this. You know what? And I, you guys better give me some dang credit because I post this stuff. It's his first deer. We've been out. We've been practicing. We've been so practicing. It, it was just, whatever, dude, but. it happens. Well, if she was, if she was quartered towards those wood, that wood line, it would have came out the front, and the good thing is her heart is on the right side and you shot her on the left. So if she was quartered enough to where that entered and came out the front, then you got heart. All right, we're cleaning up. We're pulling out for a little while. Dude, the freaking neighbors are shooting guns. Because, I mean, I, I don't doubt that she bedded down right on the other side of these woods. But, dude, with them just blasting, it's the worst. You guys hear that right now? It's insane. Like they're just unloading clips for target practice. Alrighty guys, so we are in the studio and we are currently reviewing the footage. Here's where I'm at, to be honest with you guys. Like, you really can't see, probably on camera. The good news is the shot's way more forward than we thought. So the shot is pretty borderline like liver and lung. I don't think it necessarily made it to the lung. It might have on the pass through. But we for sure got liver based on where it went. So if I'm being truthfully honest right now, I think the deer's dead. I think it's probably like 80 yards away from where we shot it. Not, not ideal, not perfect, but it is too close for comfort. So we're going to just pull out. We're going to go back first thing in the morning. It's going to be plenty cold tonight, so the meat will be fine. If you guys have watched my channel, I, I get a lot of hate. It seems like whenever I film my friends, they screw up the shot. Guys, this is Tyler's first deer. He flew in from Texas for two weeks to do this. So the fact that like he shot his first deer in a ghillie suit on a basically like a, not a spot and stock, but no blind, no tree sand, no nothing, just like a field sit. He made a 35 yard shot. I think that we're gonna find it. I think we'll be fine. So for all, anyways, all those people who complain in my comment section, oh, the meat's gonna go bad. Or like the buck video when we got shot that buck that got a ton of views on my channel if you know what you're doing and you know how to react everything's fine we're gonna find this deer probably about 7 a.m tomorrow and it's gonna go to the processor so we're gonna get your first deer it'll be all right Up down to it, which is like yeah but yeah bit, you know no buddy even with the distance back buddy it's just it is what it is you know like this is how you learn it. but we will see you guys in the morning we brought him back up All right, y'all, it's the next morning. We're gonna go find the deer. I reckon it didn't go too far, but with all the gunshots and chaos last night, there's a good chance it went and ran around, so I don't know. We got three dudes here this morning. It's early. Let us get it. All right, guys, that was quicker than we thought. I mean, we literally walked right up to it, Matt. I told you it wasn't gonna be far. We didn't even look for blood. All right, I gotta grab the actual camera and stuff, but we were literally i'll show you guys here real quick on my phone my gopro wasn't rolling we found the deer right here literally 50 yards inside the field i told you dude we probably could have came and got her last night but it's all right dude deer's still here grab it i mean the the field's right there right there is where we shot it from so it was 50 yards on the inside that's we probably could have got her last night but if you would have bumped her you would have never found her you know Alrighty, well, that ended up being a lot easier than we thought. That's why you guys gotta play your cards right. I was rolling my GoPro, I tried to show the whole tracking thing for you guys, but apparently I forgot the SD cards, so that's my bad. We did the right thing by pulling out, and we found it exactly where, you know, I thought it was gonna be, so. All is good, Tyler gets his first deer. 
We're gonna gut it up right now. It was like, I'll be honest with you, my track record for some reason this year with making hunting videos, not me personally, but my friends making shots, haven't been the greatest. This is Tyler's first year, give him some credit. He flew home from Texas to Ohio, got in a ghillie suit in a homemade blind and got it done. So give the kids some credit. The shot wasn't too far off. Everybody always comments, oh, what a waste. You guys are terrible. You're not gonna eat the meat. It's been so cold the past couple of days. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's hard to breathe, it's so cold, so we'll prove it. This deer's going in the freezer, baby, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> Learn how to go your first deer. <laughs> you find it yet? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Look how eager his face looks. <laughs> He's like, uh. <laughs> but in the first deer, you're like trying to find what's being described to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't really know what you're looking for. I feel it. Here's our proof. Where are we? We're at Dumas. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Schwacker. Um, <laughs> Perfect kill. <laughs> yeah, right. So for all, for all the haters who think the meat is no good, we are dropping it off right now to get processed. We're gonna put an end to this now. What do you think? Did it make it? Confirmed the meat's good? Confirmed? Meat's good. Okay. Confirmed the meat was good? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> he goes, no, nasty. Alrighty, so there you guys have it. Me and Tyler finally got his first deer on the ground and in the freezer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We did something a little bit different. I've been trying to do as much hunting content as I can because, well, this is what it looks like here right now. Can't really go fishing. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Give Tyler a congratulations. So now that that's done, I got two weeks. I got two weeks left of the hunting season to salvage everything that I've done and try and shoot a buck. It's gonna be tough. I've had a really tough season. I got a lot of great footage. I just got to get one in front of me. The right ones, they've been coming, but not close enough. So cross our fingers, we can make it happen. But hey, if you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop me a comment down below. Just say what's up. I love hearing from you guys, and we will see you soon in the next video.